Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is April 7th, 2022. And today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, U.S. markets continue to slide after FOMC meeting minutes happens yesterday. No major economic events scheduled for today. But as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the Australian dollar continues to slide to support, though, we're going to take a look at that and looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq, as mentioned, continue to slide commodities, gold unchanged. Why oil breaks down after that wedge formation, looking at stocks, the tech stocks were the ones that sold off the most. And lastly, Bitcoin retracing as well. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. <laughs> It's going to start with the Australian dollar four hour chart and pretty much it's back to support. OK, this little fake out breakout was exactly that. OK, and you could see that it was less volume here, which kind of gives us a little bit of way here. Now, it, there is support here. OK, so just keep in mind that if there is support here, as long as it sustains this level of 74, 80 ish level and doesn't break down, then I think we could, you know, bounce off of these areas. Now, looking at the other major symbols looking first at the gbp also trading close to that supportish level okay did trade down uh but not much okay you can see that it's not trading that much you know and we're looking at the um euro as well just consolidating at the bottom of the range not really breaking further down so it's kind of finding a footing for itself as it reconstituted itself so now looking at the commodities first looking at gold doing nothing just sideways trading okay so don't even look at it just i'm just showing you what sideways trading looks like looking at crude oil though look at what's happening okay we're breaking down at 97.51 we broke that wedge formation on the downside we kind of thought it was going to do it on the upside but it's showing itself out now this is a wedge formation okay but nevertheless nevertheless even though it's broken this level we do have support at 95.70 so that may be a new bouncing area that we're going to just try and find ourselves in or maybe we're going to just find ourselves in a further wedge okay because if we look at this wedge formation right here okay if we move this just a little bit down okay that would still be a wedge formation now it's not a straight wedge formation unless we did something like this which would be a, uh, a horizontal and a wedge formation as well which also okay it could give us a breakout in each section so this i'm still looking at it all right so uh as as this is still trading keep an eye on oil because that's really going to be a very important component now looking at the nasdaq first look at this sell off 15147 down to 14500 that's 700 points that's a major retracement for the nasdaq and looking at the dow jones did retrace over 600 points from the beginning of the week so that's significant okay very very significant we're trading right now at 34373 now looking at the individual stocks they all sold off apple on that top gap down and sell off okay if we look at microsoft also gap down and sell off below $300 a share looking at Amazon also gap down and sold off so we're seeing weakness return to the tech sector at its higher levels at its resistance ish area so that's that's honest trading that's technical trading at its finest and if we look we've got bigger volume here so this may be an indication that we might be selling off uh continuing after that massive rally we had from the beginning of March to the end of March now looking lastly at Bitcoin retracing to 43,400 that's a decent retracement for it we're at that supportish level okay previous resistance so you could guesstimate here that this will be somewhat of a soft landing for now okay we could see a possible bounce here so keep that in mind this is Fred Razak I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you